America. So we're looking for uh, a friend of mine, uh, Sydney. This is for Sydney. Uh, we're looking for Australian raspberries. She sent me a picture of uh, some red berries, and she asked me what this was. And it's a, a wild form, not a, not a strawberry, but a raspberry. They came over from Australia, and they grow like wild in Japan. And um, it's Australian raspberry or the Japanese brabble. Uh, it's in the same classification, more or less, like the rose family. Uh, and a really good place to find them is like on the side streets um, if you find a lot of vegetation on the top. And then it's a scrabble shrub, so it vines down. Then you can usually find the, the vines uh, along the walls. Then you look for the, the pinkish vines, and it has thorns uh, that are usually pointing up. You can usually find the three to five uh, tooth pinnate leaves. Uh, and the back is usually matted and white. You can use the, the leaves. I've, I've seen them in, as Chinese medicine. Uh, they help digestion and stuff. If you follow the vine up, you should be able to find the raspberry or the berry or the fruit. You can usually find the fruit. They usually form these red bright droplets. Also be sure um, to look down because uh, the vines usually, if they'll, they'll drop off at the base of the wall, sometimes you can find the raspberry bushes, like these here. is uh, the side road. So you see the vines here, three leaf. So you want to look for the three leaf vine. It grows something like this. And you follow this up. There's a couple more here. And following it up and then you can find the berry. So it should have six prongs, six petals and it opens up. And these are actually dried. When it's drying, it fruits out, so then it keeps the shape. Remember the uh, place if you do find them. Like this is a good patch here, so. I'll remember it for next year, next year, because I do grow in the same place, the same patches. And this is just like the entrance to a park area in a residential area. So they grow everywhere. Probably kids probably come here and pick them too. So just leave them, take a few, leave them then. So, and I got a couple. So I'm going to just, you can just eat them raw and put them in salads and stuff is really good. I make a raspberry vinaigrette dressing. It's really good too sometimes. Also use them for desserts, make a sauce jelly. You could pick a lot. So, thanks for the question, Sydney. Enjoy foraging.